So everyone, welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I want to give you some some thoughts about how I finally be able to make it to a couple college hockey games over the weekend. Got to see BC Merrimack on Friday, and then uh, BU UNH last night. But uh, yesterday was a matinee game. A couple of thoughts: BC Merrimack game, good drills level is skill level is almost Atsuki and the patience with the puck, you know, the stick handling, you know, the way he can distribute, and you know, has a really underrated shot. Uh, he's definitely, I'd say, the whole bigger front runner coming out of Hockey East, even as a sophomore. Uh, I look for him to be a top three forward on that first line for the U.S. and the World Junior Team. Him, Galchenyuk, and someone else, uh, those, that's your first line. Um, you know, he's going to be a great standout for the U.S. over there. I think he's going to do some great things. And, uh, you know, Calgary stole him in the fourth round. Mike Collins from Merrimack, good friend of the show. Uh, he's the best undrafted free agent in Hockey East. Uh, you know, he plays a full and complete game. The offensive skill set is off the charts. And uh, 22 years old, he's got plenty of room to grow. And I think he'll be uh, an impact player for whatever team signs him as undrafted free agent either this year or next year. Um, Michael Matheson, first round pick of the Florida Panthers at BC. Uh, he's the real deal. I like the way he plays. Smooth skater, good first pass, can do a few different things, and a uh, good all around defense. And that should develop into a hell of a player at BC. And he went to the right program because if you look at the guys like Brian Dumoulin, um, you can go back further, Brian Leach. Uh, you know, those are the guys that are impact players at the next level, and uh, he should be joining them in, in due time. Or the BU game, the most exciting defenseman in Hockey East is BU's Matt Grizzlick from Charlestown, Mass. Boston Bruins, his third round pick, and I think the Bruins outright stole him. Only about 5'9", if he was 6'2", he would have been a top five pick with this skill set he has. You know, he's exciting with the puck, and I'll also describe it. Um, you know, it's like watching a quarterback that can scramble, then make a pass. You know, he can deke through two guys and make a nice pass to, to afford the blue, at the uh, opposing team's blue line. And, uh, you know, when you're not afraid to make plays, that, that's when good things will happen. He's, he's leading BU in scoring, or leading BU defense from scoring, he's going to point a game. And uh, you're looking at what he's doing. You know, he should be on the U.S. World Junior team, definitely playing on that power play. And, uh, you know, when you can put points up like that, he, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's a welcome sight. BU's freshman class is pretty good. The two goalies, O'Connor and McGuire, are pretty good. Uh, Grizzlick's obviously the real deal. O'Regan from Needham is definitely a guy who's going to be counted on. He's, he's playing very well in the top six forward roles as a freshman, so you don't see um, too often. And, uh, you know, the, the, you know the, I thought the class two years ago with uh, Coyle, Clendenning, Nieto, uh, Noonan, a couple other guys was their best class in a while, but this this could be just as good, if not better. Yeah, and I look for Brett Pesci. I think that's his name. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, he's just turned 18 at UNH to be a second round pick. He's got no points in 10 games, but he plays a, he's a defenseman, good sized kid. And, uh, you know, he plays a full game, full complete game, and I think he's going to be a steal when you're playing college hockey that young. Um, you know, going right from the Jersey Hitmen to, to UNH is a, is a big step and something that's great. And, uh, you know, he's going to be an impact player for, for many, many years. So, uh, talking this episode of the Power Play with CJ, talking about some thoughts about some New England college hockey players. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season, lockout, and beyond. Later, guys.